right, guys, we made it. Our last lesson um, in the Weather Patterns Unit. We're on Chapter 3, Lesson 3.3. So what we'll be doing today um, is we're going to create our final report to the citizens of Galetown. Um, in this lesson, we're going to have the opportunity to review, review more evidence about the recent storms in Galetown. Um, then we're going to create a model um, to add to the final report we're making to the citizens of Galetown. Um, the report will also include a written argument about what caused the storms in Galetown to be more severe and what you think will happen next. So just rooting us back, um, our unit question that we have been looking at all along is why do some rainstorms have more rain than others? Um, in chapter one, we found out it was if we had more water vapor um, available, then um, we could have more rainstorms. In chapter two, we found out that if there were warmer temperatures, um, we would have um, more rainfall. And then here, now here we are um, in chapter three, learning about how wind affects um, rainstorms. So that led us to our chapter three question of why did mo the rose most recent storm in Galetown have the greatest amount of rain? Um, so the two key concepts that we had in chapter three was air moving from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. So inside or closest to the air parcel being a low pressure system and outside of that having a high pressure system. So when air moves from high pressure to low pressure, wind is caused um, and air push parcels can be pushed up into the troposphere by wind, which is moving air. So let's jump on in to our warm up. All right, so looking at our data. All right, so that weather event storm one was before the lake, um, and that was everything that we focused on in chapter one, um, that once the lake was put in, um, we got more rain because there was more water vapor available. Then storms two and three was after the lake, and we saw that they had high temperatures. And really what we've been focusing on um, at chapter in chapter three has um, after the lake, um, and then we had two different storms, um, one had a higher temperature than the other. And so the question is, how could an increase in wind strength affect the rainfall? So the last claim that is used to explain the severe rainstorms is stronger winds caused Galetown to have more severe rainstorms. Do you think wind is affecting the amount of rain? So here in this very last column, we've got wind strength and it says it's very strong. So I'm gonna say yes. And then why do we think so? Well, because it had all of those perfect conditions, right? It had warm air, it had a lot of water vapor, and then it had very strong winds. All right, guys, so let's jump into the model and start thinking about how our answer would be complete um, to our citizens here in Galetown. 